A sixth grade girl in Idaho opened fire on her classmates Thursday, wounding two fellow students and a school staff member. Nah. See there? That's, that's, my condolences go out to everyone involved. First of all, let me say that before I give my opinion on anything. It's, it's worth, some people might say, oh, this and that. Just hush if you've never been involved. No, it's worth chiming in on, especially when you have people with conflicting views on corporal punishment and discipline, which instills respect into children. You do that early on. I believe, my in my opinion, it lessens the chances of children harming themselves or and others. Come in decency and respect. That's just my opinion. I'm giving my opinion on this because I did a video a couple of days on my classmate, Miss Melissa Whitehead Carter from Florida, who I went to school with, who has been an authority figure over my older sons in, in the Hendry County school system, in the Florida public school systems. Okay. And I have two younger children in the school pu um, public school systems. So I feel the need to give my opinion on that. Just as me and others gave our opinions on corporal punishment in schools, you see. Let's hear what else they have to say about Idaho. Again, my condolences go out to everyone involved. Those who survived, I wish you a speedy recovery. Local police said the girl was later disarmed by a teacher at Rigby Middle School, more than 200 miles east of Boise, and held until authorities arrived. The girl's name and exact age were not immediately released. Jefferson School District Superintendent Chad Martin says... It's sad, but at the same time, just like civil rights, I believe that such a time as this... We got to start, stop marching and coming up with some solutions, taking some solutions head on. At such a time as this, we've identified a problem. School shootings, I believe, comes from some underlying problem with the student. Boom. Let's take care of that. Whether, it, whether it's a disciplinary problem or the children need therapy. I see in some schools where um, school systems, probably just private schools, where they have implemented meditation as a form of therapy, as a form of discipline. So we're not always talking about corporal punishment when, when I say discipline. Students were immediately sent home with their parents and that classes would be canceled the following day. We train uh, very frequently with the sheriff and also on our own for situations. I don't think Yes, the adults are training. The adults can go, you can go to, we can do whatever, we go to all the seminars and, and classes that we want, but we need to address the problem, the shooter. That person's issue or that handle that child, just as Melissa, Miss Melissa Whitehead Carter did, trying to take on that child. You've been to this office over and over and over. Are you going to do it again? Well, what we don't know is what that student was doing that led her to end up in the office over and over again. We have to start as parents first addressing these problems at home. And then some children are so, um, I don't want to say manipulative, but they know how to behave at home, that place where they're getting disciplined at, and they'll save it for they go, for school or at a friend's house when they get with friends or something, then they let it all out, let it all loose. And, and some, you know, schools and places like that. So we have to set up a system or put, measures in place to say 
no, be respectful and mindful for all the for at wherever you are. Integrity. And I believe that starts when a child is younger. Y'all you even say that in the Bible. Raise a child up in the way in which you would go. You know the rest. We can never fully be prepared, um, but I feel like our staff reacted and our students reacted in the best possible way for the best possible outcome. Um, we will obviously take time over the next days and weeks to, to reevaluate and see where we can continue to improve. Several law enforcement agencies are investigating the shooting. And again, I think some of that improvement in all areas, all countries, everywhere. I think this can apply to any gathering place where um, young people have to be. Start early on implementing. Listen, we all have these rules. We all have to follow. If not, there will be consequences to our actions. And I, I believe we started at kindergarten not making them feel like they're getting away with something. Like how the mom cried after her kid received some licks at school. And, you know, saying, oh, I just froze because she hit her so hard. That's fine too, ma'am. But this could have been prevented. This could have been taken care of at home. And it might come with... You see a child is a problem, harsh, harsh measures early on. Like, you've been to this office five times, you're going home. And some, some teachers try to say, hey, oh, no, we know the mom have to work and this and that. No, you're going to get some days out of school. If she, if it, if it can, and, and some parents send children to school to be babysitted in a high. It's rules. It's, it's rules to that. Like some people say, it's level set. It's rules to it. Which erupted shortly after 9 a.m. local time. Depending on the outcome of the investigation, Jefferson County Prosecutor Mark Taylor said charges against the girl could include three counts of attempted murder. Medical staff said none of the... See there? Would you rather your baby have days off from school, suspension from school because they've been behaving a little bit caught early on or these attempted murder charges. Pick one. I'm gonna discipline you now. I'm gonna give you some licks now. You want you finna get this powder to your behind it now. Or grow, grow, grow. You can just let the child just let the child go on and on. And now boom, you got to face the judicial system. That's what they need to start saying. Is is this him? Is this or Later on, the judicial system and us parents, trust me, a parent already consciously know. That's why I try to stop mine. Listen, you got to stop. Or people out there measure to stop you later on is going to be much harsher, way worse than you getting, okay, just these swats on the butt is going to be way worse. Of the gunshot wounds were life threatening. The school staff member is being treated and released for his injury, while the two students are being kept overnight for observation. Idaho Governor Brad Little issued a brief statement shortly after the shooting, writing that he was staying updated on the situation. Yeah, yeah, this is it's a problem and needs a solution is all I'm saying, like a stern, for real solution. People, I believe the politics sometimes, I believe it's just sweeping it on the rug or so lightly just brushing over looking like making it look like they're doing something or let the crying and all this and you know sympathy is a part of it a part of um the media and everything get everybody riled up and all in, in their emotions when really people are passing away and it, it needs to stop. Like, it can be stopped. It can be prevented. Just put harsher measures in school, harsher disciplinary measures in school. Not for everybody. I'm not saying punish the children that aren't doing these things. I'm saying in the office. Once you see a child keep... Listen. Or if you see a child being isolated, sometimes it's not a disciplined child. Maybe it's the quiet child never gets in trouble. You want to slide them a therapy... Um, it's up to the adults to try to ident identify that 
adults would need a new protocol to identify those quiet ones and, and you know, interact with them more. That's when you'll hear people say, oh, they showing favoritism. How come he gets called out? No, we're trying to identify and make sure every, everything is cool. Is this child okay? That, that is all. But that is my opinion of flip side to the coin, corporal punishment versus students acting out in school. That that is all. Just my just giving my opinion and how I my perspective. Please, please, please give me your perspective, your opinion. Drop it down below in the comments if you enjoy my my insight or if you agree, not enjoy, if you agree with me that harsher disciplinary measures or even this they're trying to take corporate management out of the schools like in Hendry County in Florida no if you if you think this corporate punishment is needed in schools drop a comment below or I'm I'm interested in hearing contrary to proper belief no no prayer no Corporal punishment, no discipline, or whatever, however you feel. Anyways, I respect all opinions. Drop them down below in the comments. Hit the like, share, subscribe to my video. Thank you guys so much for watching.